All right, pilots. So here's the deal. I've got this quad. I want to show you guys the camera. Something's wrong with it. It was flying great, but it is no longer flying good. So I'm making this video real quick to show you guys. I got the GoPro on top so you can see that it's not the quadcopter. It's not the motors. It's not the props. It's not the frame. It's not nothing. Something's up with the camera is what I'm thinking. So I want to show you guys, and this is how I'm going to do it. So it is raining. <laughs> Work with me here. Here we go. this guy apart let's get our battery straps out of here next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna crack these open Let's go ahead and set this aside and we're going to focus on this. Let's see what we can come up with. There's multiple things that could be causing this, but we don't know what it is at this point. Could be anything. More screws. All right. Whoa. Look at that. Right away, you saw that. Look at this. Not held down at all. Look at that. Not sure if you can hear that. That would explain. That explains the jello right there. And then the reason why I'm all distorted would be because this thing is moving around however it feels like it. So we definitely know the problem. We found it now. Let's take the steps towards fixing it. Uh, I do want to tell you guys do not touch this. Do not touch this at all. What is on my finger? Do not touch this at all. You touch this, just don't touch this. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen if you touch it. It's not going to explode or anything, but just don't touch it. All right? Next thing up is drop your camera back in. Get it right where you want it. And then get, get your trusty, dusty tool of honor. Now, you can see the steam coming off that bad boy. Now, you might ask, well, hey, Drain Man, 
how do I know uh oh looks like we put a little bit too much but you might ask well drain man how do we know that it's going to be set up correctly as far as having your camera in the right adjustment or else you're going to have blurry vision and here's what I'm going to tell you once you lock this down it really doesn't matter we'll adjust it from the front because the lens is adjustable so the most important thing is having that locked down and tight and then we'll adjust the front so pretty simple fix and obviously we don't know for a hundred percent if that's going to resolve it but I got a little bit extra here on the top I'm going to peel that off and there you go so obviously we need to let that cool down and we need to get it back in for testing but let's go ahead and start putting everything back together now All right, pilot. So I plugged it in. I checked it. It's definitely. I got it here on the screen. It is definitely, definitely still blurry. Now, is that expected? Yes, because all we did was glue it in place where it was already blurry. Now we want to adjust it. But the difference is going to be before when it was blurry, and then we adjust it, and then it gets blurry again, and then it's good for a while, and then it's blurry again. That's because that freaking board on the inside wasn't locked down. So now that we got it locked down, we know once we put it in place, we're going to be good to go. So let's go ahead and kick this on. We're going to plug in the quadcopter, and we're going to we're going to get this uh, video as good as we can inside, and then we'll tune it outside if we have to because. The you know, you want your proximity to be as far away so you can see things that are coming that ain't up close, you know, so you don't want it to be zoomed in on stuff that's up close and then blurry far away. So, super, ooh, she's loud. All right, so I want to spin this ring so I can give myself something to work with. Now, mind you, while I'm doing this, I'm looking at my screen, which I don't know, maybe I can get it into the view for you guys. Uh, it's already looking pretty good. Not sure if you guys can see. But we want to see what's far away. And I'm going to say that's pretty dang good. Alright, so something like that is pretty good. So I want to spin my ring down all the way. And then I want to tighten the ring without moving the lens from where it's at. It's not going to be the easiest task in the world, but we can do it. Let's disconnect for now. And let's see if we can lock that down. Alright super tight too so hopefully we did a good job oh yeah so as you guys can see uh, super clear alright so as you guys can see the video is definitely looking clear I can I know for for whew, probably 99 percent that I fixed the problem because if I open up the back of that camera and my stuff's all bouncing around and loose, I mean, that makes perfect sense why I got jello. So, as you guys saw in the GoPro footage, nothing else had jello, or else that would have had jello. And if that had jello, well, then our troubleshooting would have gone a different direction. But we headed this way because nothing else had jello but the camera. So, that was a good indicator for us. As long as this does <laughs> work out the way that I think it does, we did good. We're all fixed up. And we're going to enjoy. So right now I'm going to go ahead and finish locking this all down. Let me show you guys what's happening. And 
and how awesome this is. This thing is super sweet. I will link the, I have a review on this. I will link the review in the video description. And I'll also uh, put a link on where you can get one if you like it. I don't know, me, I do a lot of building, so this works for me. All right, guys, so the quad is back together. Uh, the only thing left to do now is to test it and see how we did. Uh, this is one of my favorite builds, I should say. So I do, I do tend to fly this one more than any of the other ones. I just feel like it's locked in, and it just it flies really, really well. So it's, when that happened with the camera, I immediately was like, okay, we got to troubleshoot this, and we got to fix it. So I went ahead. It started raining on me, but I wanted to show you guys. So I went ahead and record one more flight after it happened, and then I went ahead and... Uh, brought it inside and we pulled it apart and I, I think that we pulled it off so I'm gonna go ahead now and finish strapping this up and I'm gonna take you guys for one more spin we'll go ahead and confirm that we've taken care of it and then you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments we're gonna need this too for our spin so we'll pop this in alright guys dudes I got good news it's working <laughs>